So this is a little bit different for me. Um, it's not a dream, it's not an OBE, it's not anything like that. Um, I guess I would consider it a vision or a download. I was attempting to fall asleep and unable to do so. I had some chimes playing in the background, some calming music. And I suddenly received this massive download of imagery that lasted for a few minutes. It seemed like a very long time. Um, what happened was it first started off as this being or these beings that were sort of dancing and spiraling in these circles, these hypnotic like circles that were similar to that of the imagery that you would see in iPad Go 2, like the whirling dervish spinning upward, or you would see a whirling dervish in general. It was like this creative element, this creative force. And these, these people or they, these beings were in such a, a state of ecstasy and joy um, spinning because every movement they were making, they were creating. And as they were spinning, their hands were pointing outward. And they were creating this stunningly beautiful array of colors and shapes that were almost electric, magnetic, uh, spirals, um, all kinds of shapes and colors. And these were some kind of reality systems. They, they were experimenting with some kind of uh, shades of light as they were spinning and they were using those shades to create through their thoughts this reality system or these reality systems and it was stunningly beautiful to see and they were in such a state of joy and ecstasy doing this it's like they were unstoppable it's almost as if that they could be doing this for eternity and with each spin, they would have a new array of colors and a new array of shapes that would that would transpire all around them. They would just flood in this gorgeous light. After that, it changed. And there was a Christ-like figure sitting with his back to me, which is odd. So I did not see his face. And as he was sitting... Uh, with his back to me, he pointed his finger upward in this direction. And as he did that, he got my attention and I moved closer. I, uh, he said, Shambhala, this is Shambhala. And I'm like, I haven't heard of this place in such a long time. I remember years back, I vaguely here and there would study Shambhala when I would research uh, Nicholas Rourke and the Stone of Destiny and Madame Blavatsky and things of that nature. I heard things here and there about Shambhala, this mythical city below Nepal that supposedly existed but actually didn't exist, but no one really knew. Blah, blah, blah. So as I approached what he was showing me, I was able to see these stunningly beautiful lakes. There were many of them, countless lakes, and with water that was this blue lapis lazuli color. It was, it looked almost super, it was a color I can't even describe. But around this blue, these blue lakes, there were these crystalline marble-like structures. They were kind of like spires that protruded upwards and they were shimmering and shining and depending on what angle that you looked at them, they sort of morphed and changed as you would look at them. And actually everything in this place morphed and changed uh, depending on which perspective and which angle you were looking at what you were seeing. And so I approached closer and then I went above, directly above whatever this was, this city. And 
it was in this very, very specific shape. Now, I remember that there was ancient uh, Nepalese drawings of this city as being similar to Atlantis. You had, you know, kind of concentric circles or a ring pattern. But what I saw was far more intricate and far more advanced than that. It resembled, the only thing I could explain was that it looked like the flower of life. If you can Google image what a flower of life looks like, it's basically circles, inside circles, inside circles. And this is how this place was structured. So I would move about and I would get closer and I would approach. And that's when I saw the beings that were there. The beings looked very much like I would imagine ancient Egyptian gods. They had um, uh, basically human-like features with animal-like heads. But just like everything else in this place, depending on which angle you would approach and look at everything, they would shift and change. Everything here radiated this brilliance, this diamond-like brilliance. It was absolutely, the brightness was so intense that you could almost go blind from everything, from the marble structures to the beings themselves. Everything emitted this intense radiance. And so as I approached closer to some of them, they uh, changed. So they became more human-like. So from a distance, they had more uh, features of an animal, a spirit animal of sorts. I remember jaguars and falcons and things like that. But as I approached closer to them, they resembled very much like normal humans. So they took me to this like central temple. And in this temple, it was like um, also very, very a spherical, circular, it kind of had this massive <coughs> dome structure around it, and it had this marble, but it was like this green marble. It wasn't uh, the diamond, whitish marble, the brilliance that the other buildings had. It was greenish in color, kind of like lime. And so in this location, they brought me to these two crystal pyramids one was upright overlaid on something it was right there upright a small pyramid i would say about the size of a large box in the middle was an intense ball of light it was radiating this immense power on top of the ball of light was another pyramid that was upside down. So you had one pyramid right side up, one pyramid upside down, and they were both focusing their energy on this light. And this light emitted brilliance out into the cosmos. So as I was seeing this, I basically asked if this is on the new earth to this Christ-like being that was showing me this and he responded by saying this is beyond the new earth so this is already a step above that so it is what I would probably deem a very quite distant future but since we all know time in a very true sense doesn't in actuality exist in the overall wholeness of reality so we all know that it actually exists right now just as all other realities and all dimensions of earth right here and right now <sighs> having said that um i don't know if i made it up then it's amazing then that means my imagination's awesome and whatever i'm fine with that if i somehow accidentally remote viewed this place then that's also awesome. Or if it was a genuine vision, which I believe it was, because of just the intense nature of it and how I saw it deeply in my mind's eye and I saw every detail and it was really intense. I believe it to be a genuine vision.
Um, having said that, I, um, I just wanted to share it with you because I, I, I had, I used to get downloads like this often back when I was, you know, in my better days of awakening, like 2015, I used to have a lot of these interesting visions and I would write them down a lot and I would type them out a lot and keep information. I actually typed out a whole book about one of the things, but nowadays these are rare, rare enough to uh, actually share it with you if anyone watches. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to know your opinion. Thank you.